everyone, welcome back to Lao Peppa Bay channel. Today I'm gonna make mashed potato. Very simple, guys. This is my ingredient, my style. I tried my best to make it really delicious and hopefully it will turn out really nice and creamy like the Boston Market version of mashed potato. So here you go, Braden Beast. This is your request, so I'm gonna make it for you and here are my ingredients. I'm gonna use any instant mashed potatoes, as you can see. And my secret here is a stick of butter, about a cup of milk. Of course, I'm using lactate milk because baby butter cannot drink whole milk. That's true. All right, and I have here about one and a half cup of water, one teaspoon of Himalayan salt, so let's make that healthy and I have a tablespoon of black pepper. There you go, a that little kick. Yummy. And we're gonna use my secret, which is the Philadelphia cream cheese. Of course, you're a Philly girl, you gotta do it. This is the ultimate secret. It's still good. It's no longer a secret. So you guys got my recipe, this is how I'm gonna do it, and this is my taste of mashed potato. And uh, I'm not using the whole bottle of mashed potato. Thank you, baby butter. I know you love it. Um, okay, that was my son earlier. He was like, it's good, it's good. He can't wait for it. Anyway, uh, the mashed potato, the instant mashed pota potatoes, you can use any brand. I'm gonna use about, probably about six cup. I still have some left in that box. So I'm gonna toss them all in. Of course, I can't fit it all in my Pyrex, four cups of Pyrex. Uh, cup so we're just gonna say it's about six cups of instant mashed potato use any brand you like don't forget the cream cheese that's the secret and the milk and the stick of butter all right let's begin milk so i'm gonna let it boil on medium medium high heat and once it starts to boil Vigorously, I'll turn it off and we're going to add all of our other ingredients in. Just going to put in my um, one tablespoon of Himalayan salt. And my one tablespoon of black pepper. Oop, I'm sorry, uh, one teaspoon of Himalayan salt. Not, not one tablespoon, one teaspoon. Why? Because the butter, the stick of butter that, I use, um, that I'm using is already salted. So we're gonna add in a stick of butter. And here I'm gonna add about a cup of the Philadelphia cream cheese. One cup of Philadelphia cream cheese. This is gonna make it so creamy and delicious. I wanna get off all the residue of the cream cheese from the spoon waste nothing there see how it's getting really milky and creamy and white white and creamy i want the mashed potato i want my mashed potato to come out very creamy white looking not yellow looking mashed potato. Usually they look yellow. But I found that when I add cream cheese, it makes it whiter. It looks very creamy. 
it's going to look very creamy. You'll see. And with my mashed potato, instant mashed potato, I'm gonna pour it in, but not all at once. I'm gonna slowly pour in as much as I can, and then I'm gonna stir it. I'm gonna stir it in while my heat is on very low. Look at this, it's so creamy. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's so creamy. I'm turning off the heat right now. Like I said, this is a heat induction, Cousinart heat induction pot. Even on very, very extremely low heat, it's still very hot and it was still boiling. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix more mashed potato in. Okay, so I'm gonna add them all in. It's a lot of cream cheese and a lot of mashed potato here. I want it to be very, very, I don't want it to be soupy, so I don't want to add milk all at once in the beginning. So, eight cups total. I think I'm done with the milk, guys. This is it. I'm just gonna stir them and make sure the mashed potato is mixed in with the milk that I just poured in. And eight cups total, guys. Again, don't use your milk all at once from the beginning. You want to use it to adjust the thickness, the consistency of your mashed potato as your pot is turned off and, you know, I just wanna make sure that you get it to the consistency that you like. Some people like it a little thick. I'm gonna clean the handle a little bit. Some people like it a little thick. Some people like it um, a little, you know, thin out. And I personally don't like it too thick. I like it a little, cre I like it very creamy and very, you know, thick, but not too thick. More on a very creamy side, creamy consistency. Wow, this is awesome. This is super awesome. I can't wait to dig in. Woo! You gotta be really strong to stir these things. I'm telling you, it's tough. And guys, look how white and creamy my mashed potato is. Wow, look at this. It looks just like Boston Market's cream. I'm sorry, it looks just like Boston Market's um, 
mashed potato was white and creamy. And all you need now is the gravy. And of course the gravy, I'm just gonna use the instant powder gravy. And it's a simple dish, but everyone's got their own style to perfect it, right? So this is my style. Pepper Bay style, guys, Lao Pepper Bay style. Remember, it's minivans, Lao Pepper Bay style. Guarantee you'll fall in love with it. Mm -mm. Such a simple meal and comforting side dish. But we're gonna eat it as breakfast today. There you have it, Lao Pepper Bay mashed potato, instant mashed potato with cream cheese. My style, guys, guarantee you'll love it. It's as white as snow and it's so creamy. Wow, look at that. Mmm, it's so good. I can't wait to dig in. I hope you guys try it. And I'm sure your style is as good as mine, but if you like it creamy and white as snow, here you go. This is my style, guys. Love it. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel if you love this mashed potato. I know it's a simple dish, but here's my recipe and my technique. I hope to share it with you guys, and I hope you guys like it and try it and see how it tastes. Uh, until next time, see ya!